Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Veil World. And before we do anything else, let us address the amazing new dragon in the room because oh my gosh, look at this mantis dragon. I, I have no idea why, but this is one of the most interesting and beautiful dragons I think I have seen yet. There is something kind of like a horse and something kind of like a fairy. And then the really cool angles of that, that like beak that they have. This is an amazing dragon. All of our Dragon Veil world players in our Patreon Discord were freaking out when it came out. I. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's, of course, one of the Echo Dragons, which I think means that it is going to require one of the Zodia Dragons to breed. I actually have not even looked yet. I wanted to be with you guys when we had a chance to first really get a good look at the Mantis Dragon because, oh my gosh, it's amazing. How many of you guys, let me know, let me know, how many of you guys already have one? <gasps> Has it happened? Have you gotten lucky? Do you have an enchanted one? Oh my goodness, my eyes are sparkling. This is going to be a great addition. I'm very excited. I get a little bit over eager when it comes to limited time dragons because actually my friends, if you step back with me for just a moment, you can see I have 121 of the regularly available dragons, which is pretty amazing. We only have nine more to collect before we have collected all of the usually available dragons. Not all of their enchanted varieties, mind you, but, you know, the bulk of the mm, familiar dragons. So being able to get my hands on these limited time dragons, and especially the ones who are brand new to the world, who have never appeared before, like the mantis dragon, is extremely exciting. <gasps> and it needs a Labria? Really? Oh my gosh. We lucked out! Yes, a Labria and an Albine Dragon. I am so happy. I have more than my own handful of Labrias. We're really good there. We have four of them and an egg that I need to hatch. So yeah, we've got a lot of Labrias and we have one Alpine Dragon. I'm not sure if we have an enchanted variety, but I can definitely check and then we can hopefully get both of our wonderful breeding caves up and going so that we can have this. I mean, look at this. I think it's the uniqueness of the design that really also enchants me. I love it when the creativity of the dragon existence, their design themselves really pops out. And I really feel that with this one, but let's read its story so we know a little bit about the mantis dragon. Mantis dragons are complex creatures. Their smooth gait and calm demeanor have awarded them a respected reputation. Some magic folk have followed these enchanting dragons into the woods up until the moment they were turned away by the creature's piercing stare. To this day, most don't know mantis dragons frolic in secret dragon snap fields, playing until their hearts are content. Then, without warning, they ravenously eat all of the tops off the flowers. Oh my gosh. It's got such an adorable story. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna definitely try breeding for that dragon ASAP, which means we've gotta get a move on today, my friends. And yes, we have some very important eggs. We are going to be taking a peek at inside of our hatchery in just a moment, including one that I think is the 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 special Pasilla egg. <gasps> Look at that enchanted variety. You guys were leaving comments telling me that the enchanted variety was fantastic. And it is, it's a little two headed koi fish. I have to have that one too. Oh, there's just so much happening, including the fact I have too much money, <laughs> which is not something I thought I would say, but I do, I have too much money. I have 25 million coins and we're about to spend it. Let's unlock this chunk of park. I have been collecting this money for weeks now. Oh, that's really weird. We're literally broke. We're literally broke now. Okay, that's kind of hilarious. Now I have literally no money. Uh, but we collected all of that money specifically so that I could expand this area. When this area opens up, we're gonna be putting all of our volcanoes over here, all of our rocky habitats over here. I'm going to be moving over all of the, like, the mechanical habitats, like the mech habitat over here as well. I think we're gonna move the bank over here just because it's kind of just shoved up on this side right at this moment. Um, maybe the ancient habitats? I think the ancient habitats might look kind of cool over there as well. 
Uh, we're gonna play with it basically because if you haven't noticed my my entire bark is still a gigantic mess Like there's this dune dragon egg just sitting out in the fields because why not? I'm starting to sort it and organize it and make it a little bit better, but it's still slightly painful to look at uh, So hopefully having that extra area to expand will encourage me to put some more thought into where I want to put everything Hmm yeah, maybe, maybe I will move my ancient habitats. I kind of want to mix them with my storm and my jungle habitat so it can be like an ancient jungle full of mysterious ruins that you can stumble upon. But I need more room for my fairies as well. Maybe this could be, you know what, fairies could go up here and then my ancient habitats could go down here and I need one more and then I need to move my Zen habitat somewhere. And they could go up with like this area, the fairies and the air. I could see that happening. Okay, yeah, don't worry, I'll work on that. I'll work on that and one day when you guys come back to help me gather all of my pumper melons and take care of all of my wonderful dragons, uh, everything is gonna look a little different. So I will be working on that in the background. But all right, so it looks like we average 1.2 million coins every time we collect right now. That's good to know for future reference uh, when we're busy, busy, busy hatching things and plucking the fields. Speaking of the fields, so we have 1.2 million coins after we gather from every single exhibit we currently have. We gather all of the Zazberries. And how far are we just doing one Zazberry run? Look at that! That's over 300,000 coins that we spend just putting down the one hour Zazberries. And you guys think, look at all this free food we're now gathering. Free food! Look at that free food that I just gathered from our treat dragons. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's saving me money right there and I can appreciate that. Uh, but the money is important too so that we can build more habitats because I need to build a lot more habitats actually. <laughs> All right, well enough silliness. Let's go ahead and start hatching some of the eggs that we currently have including the new mystery egg This guy is brand new. I'm not sure who is inside of him. Wait, there's gears on this egg I thought this was the Pasea like I 100% was convinced that this was the Pasea But it came from our underbrush dragon our enchanted underbrush dragon and um, our enchanted oh Stop that. Our enchanted droplet dragon. So it came from this habitat or this breeding cave over here. And I thought that just by chance I had gotten the Pasea somehow from that mix. But that's not a Pasea. That, that egg has literal screws on it. So we're going to have to look into that in just a second. But all right. So we've got one egg right here. This is a mist dragon for sure. And then we have got one of these eggs. This is gonna be interesting. This is a Labria. They are rare. They are limited time. They are a Zodia dragon. I have four of them. Let me double check that because it's important to note. One, two, right over here, including an enchanted one. Three, right over there. And I'm pretty sure I have another one hiding in the hibernation cave. I got really lucky with those. I feel so bad because we have really, yep, there's, oh, it's an enchanted one. I literally have two enchanted and two normal Librias. <laughs> I feel so bad because we have a really wonderful member in our Patreon who has been struggling so hard to get the Librias and she wants the Mantis Dragon too. And here I am just like swarmed with them. But sometimes you just get really lucky with specific ones. And this time we are going to let Ritia here because I have so many of them turn into an egg. And we are going to keep her egg and have a very super rare Zodia egg that will make people go, what on earth were you doing, Siri? Why did you turn it into an egg when they see it? But I had my reasons. So, okay, I want, I want, okay, and that is not going to be, this little one is definitely not going to be who I'm looking for. I don't think that's the Alpine Dragon's egg either. But I really want to get the Mantis Dragon. However, it has 11 days. We only have four more days before this wonderful bring him back potion will go away. And I really, really, really want the enchanted variety of the Pasea dragon. Also, we do have to collect all of the Zodia dragons. So it might be worth it to work on that one a little bit today, uh, which is actually going to be our Newt and Minstrel dragon who are working on that. But we have a newbie. 
we have a newbie and we need to address the newbie in the room. So let's check on this guy. <gasps> it's the automaton dragon. Oh, that's so exciting. I had not unlocked him yet. There you go, buddy. Welcome to the hibernation cave. Now I am even closer to unlocking all of the always available dragons. What am I gonna do with myself? We're just gonna have nothing but bring him back potions when that happens. But there we go. So we now have another mechanical dragon, which is a great reason to look forward to expanding that area. And their enchanted form is supposed to look really awesome. Our, our Dragonville patrons showed me some pictures of some of theirs and I was super impressed. Let's read the story. Legend has it, a curious dragon was so enthralled with a wizard's invention that it attempted to mimic it. Others copied this dragon's lead, and over an eon, this mimicry consumed these dragons so much that their scales and hides started to match their behavior. It is believed that the automaton was the first fully evolved mech dragon, and magic folk could not discern if it was organic or mechanical. No one really knows why this evolution took place. It could have been a threat of larger predators, or environmental danger. Without empirical evidence, some simply call this phenomena a defense mechanism. That's adorable. <laughs> All right, well, we will look over our wonderful new automata dragon in the future. Um, I have to reach level 45 before I can level up the mech habitat. Huh, I might be able to pull that off, so that's okay. But all right, so let's see, what should we do today then, my friends? Let me speed up this egg, just in case it happens magically. Oh. My. Gosh. It happened magically to be the Pasea egg. <laughs> what? Why are you guys so lucky? Having all of you with me on these adventures is just the best. This never happens when I am making the dragons on my own. What is with you amazing people? I cannot believe this. I am blown away. This is awesome. Next time we come back, we're going to be able to hatch that Pasea and even try to get that enchanted Pasea. I can't believe that. Oh, that is amazing. And that actually frees us up because I want to hatch that egg first so we can try to get the enchanted version of that one to try breeding for the new mantis dragon. So let's see how many of those I happen to have. That is so cool. Uh, I have one alpine dragon. I want to see what her egg looks like because if the egg we currently have is it. Darling, what does your egg look like though? Okay, her egg would take only four hours to hatch though. So I don't think we're, we have her egg and it just requires ice and leaf. I kind of almost want to try to breed another alpine dragon just to be sure that this could happen. But let's do our enchanted Libria and our alpine dragon. Can I feed my enchanted Libria up to, oh, this is going to be a little bit hefty, but can I get her to level 15 to try to help the odds a bit more? It's not like, I don't know if this is, oh, this is, what, why? This is so painful. She just needs so much, but she's going to pull in 6,000. Oh, we can, we're not going to be able to do that today. <laughs> All right, we were not able to get her fully grown up. Let's go ahead and just feed our alpine dragon up as much as we possibly can though, because I think the higher levels help. That may completely be false, but I just think they might help. And let's try to breed. I mean, we're really, okay, this is not gonna be it. I have two empty spots. I have a lot of gemstones I've been saving up. I buy them and I take care of them and I nurture them because I know it's gonna be worth it to share it with you guys. This is okay. Come on, Siri. It's all right. You can spin these gemstones. Let's speed up a couple times. Not this one either. All right. This is going to be our last attempt for now. Is this going to be the new... Come on. You guys are so lucky. Come on. We've got this. Think some lucky thoughts. Toss everybody a treat maybe with a like. It seems to help. And uh, deep breath. Let's do this. Mantis, mantis. Mwah. All right, it didn't work. 
<laughs> but we do have the pasilla egg, so that one is definitely coming. And we are quite lucky because we already happen to have the labrias to spare. Uh, just as we start heading out, like as we're running out the door today, on our way back to our wonderful dragon classes, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and throw together our jungle dragon. And then let's throw together Alphon. Let's see if I can get another alpine dragon. I think I can. That's, that's like three hours, 40 minutes. Probably an alpine dragon. So as soon as that one hatches, then we can have both of those going until we can pretty much guarantee at that point that we'll get a mantis. So I'm pretty excited about that. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We have a lot to do. I still need to spread some wonderful autumn feeling through our wonderful treat fields by changing it over to autumn pretty soon. Uh, I want, oh, and actually while we're in the brewery boost, the hatching, let's reactivate that. Yes, that's gonna make that go so much faster. Ah, oh, that's totally worth it. And now, yes! Ah, oh, now tomorrow, tomorrow I can come back and we can work on the Pasilla. This is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. Oh, this is awesome. But all right, so yeah, if you guys would please come and enroll in my wonderful Dragon University by joining us and subscribing, that would be amazing. If you could toss my dragon some treats with some likes, that would be fantastic. And let me know what you think about the Pasilla, what you think about your luck with the Labrias, and what you guys think. Why is this mantis dragon so enchanting and appealing? I'm not entirely sure, but I know that I'm already in love. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.